uh, when they're short, because they're trying to maximize length, normally you're just going to grab the bottom of the tier, like that, and they usually have a strap on it. Some of the straps are smaller, you'll see it's just for like two fingers, and you're really allowing it to go. So there's two ways we can use it. We can use the edge, again it doesn't look like much, but that's going to break your hand with a, a small tap. Um, so we're going to either use it for the hand, we're going to use it for cutting the brow. So that's your primary, and that's more comfortable for most people because you're using the primary finger edge, your knife cutting edge. And then the second way of using which we're going to look at is the actual slap. And the slap is, even on the leg, it's horrible. There's a lot of pain anywhere on the body, but on the neck, mandibular angle, you're going to knock somebody down, back of the head. But that's a different mechanic, so we're going to look at that. Uh, I have one real one in circulation that's going to be going. That's with lead. Just go super soft because it destroys you. These are made with foam. So again, you're not going crazy hard because even with foam, it's not so good. And then to add into the mix, I'll give you the equivalent from the Maori, which is the patu. And the patu is normally made out of wood uh, with obsidian flakes or just polished obsidian or stone. And that was a, a, a primary hand-to-hand -hand weapon for Maori warriors, right? So again, same deal. It's wood. It looks a little bit odd at first, and when you first hold it, you don't think it's going to be strong. Sometimes they'll have a thong or a rope around it, and they'll spin it. They'll spin it and whip it, uh, which exceeds our population capacity today. So I took the rope out. Um, but when we have it, again, it's going to be the same idea. I can hit with the edge, or I can slap with it, right? So the first thing we're going to look at is how we can address the hand. So if I have Ian up here for a second. So if I'm working, right, with the, with the foam one, you can tap with the pat two or the actual blackjack, I would not recommend it. We're gonna rotate this around so you have, uh, you have an idea. But I wanna see the difference between kind of lightly slapping the hand, which is kind of a weird mechanical angle, but it's like a paintbrush, right? Like, bang, that kind of an angle, versus hooking, almost like an inside hammer fist or an inside block. Anywhere on the hand, right? Bang, that's a bad angle. Arm is gonna work, bone is gonna work or I can just cuff over and, and start to reach towards the second hand. We're not even gonna think of the head yet. I just want you to get precision. Think of ways you can slap, hack and cut, hook over. You can use the pommel. Right? This is also iron here, right, metal. I can come through, or I can just bypass the whole affair and go into all the same clinches we were doing before. Once we have aim, we're gonna to start to look at how we can affect the head. If you're using foam, Again, you can smack a little bit, like that, you'll get a little bit of a whack, but once you've had it 20 times, you can go a little bit harder. Even this, not so comfortable, and if I start to hit with the edge, you can still see what it does to the hand. You still break a bone with Mac, yeah? So gentle, soft.